All right, so we're just going to do a quick demonstration. So if you follow the cap, if the camera follows down to here, please. A quick demonstration of how to do a, um, a ferry cyanide experiment. So we'll wick the sample off this electrode. The first thing we're going to do is put a buffer on. Oops, I, yeah, <laughs> the buffer. So this is just PBS. 7.2 pH. You pipette it onto the tip of the electrode like that. Very straightforward. We'll come to our um, software. So I've got all the parameters down the side. And then I'm going to hit, um, I hit start. And so we're just getting the background buffer signal now. So that's the kind of hydrolysis of water at the end there. And then it's going to come down and we'll start getting um, the reduction of oxygen around about there. And then we're coming back again. And the way we set the software up, it'll do two scans. So scan number two is coming now. So we'll let this complete. We're actually scanning quite fast at the moment. We're scanning at 0 0.1 volts per second. It's probably advisable to actually start slowing that down a little bit because when you scan very fast, it's hard to monitor following kinetics because you scan so fast. So now what we're going to do is I'll change the pipette tip so we don't contaminate. I'm going to wick off the sample from the sensor, from the electrode, which I'm doing now. This is 10 millimolar ferricyanide, so I know it's going to work. Ferricyanide is a kind of classically electrochemically active molecule. It's actually used in some glucose strips. So we put that on like that. I would normally save my data, so if you want to save data, just go save data up here and you can save the data. I'm not going to save my data today, I'm just going to um, discard that. And now we're running exactly the same experiment, but now it's really peaking up because of the ferricyanide. We know it's electrochemically active. So if you're trying to screen dye molecules, the things that will be interesting to you will be what's that peak position or that peak position there? And what's that peak height? This is actually different from what we did earlier on. So you can see the electrode is changing through the experiment. So it's, it's important not to just keep on reusing electrodes and electrodes. You might have to kind of discard them on occasions. Or to make your results more um, um, statistically important, you might have to do the experiment several times and end up getting like an average and standard deviation of these, of these parameters. Because that would, you know, it would make your, uh, your results more statistically significant. And then it will finish. And um, what I'll do is I'll reject the first scan. And so when you're trying to rank molecules, it's probably important just to kind of look at the second scan or something like that. So yeah, in fact, when I look at the second scan, then I do have that peak of closer to the 33 milliamps, uh, microamps rather, and then the peak height is uh, the peak position is about 0.41, which is very similar to where we were before. So you can see a difference between the first scan and second scan. As long as you're consistent, you can still rank these molecules. So just concentrate on the second scan. Okay, thanks very much.